So I have two thermal units for 10 frame Langstroths, which is what all I have in my apiary. I also have an eight frame, um, which I can't use because I have 10 frames. Anyways, so I can do two hives at a time. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a single deep and then how to do a double deep. Um, so I've confirmed that I have enough bees in each of these that I can go ahead and treat with the thermal unit. And I'm going to what I did is I started by making sure both of the units work. So I turned, the, I plugged them in, I turned them on, I made sure that they started to heat up. Excellent. Now what I want to do is make sure that I have a notch for the sensor through the back of the hive. So that's going to look like cutting a little notch right here um, underneath the inner cover so that that sensor doesn't get squished. So let's do that. I use a little sawzall blade that I my dad has wrapped some tape around the bottom for and I am just gonna cut this right near the middle frame but I'm gonna cut it between the frames so that I have more space um, to move the blade without interrupting the bees. I do this very slowly so that I'm not causing, so I'm causing as little vibration in the hive as possible. And then we test. Okay, perfect. That's the top one. Okay, so this is going to go right in the middle of the middle frame. Right? So I have these 3D printed sensor clips. This one's a little wonky because I've used it, but that's okay. Again, this sensor is going to go right in the middle here. So now we want to insert the thermal um, hot pad into the entrance. Now we're going to tape. We add our special entrance reducer just for the one up phase. Flashing blue means warm up. Okay, now we will watch and wait on this. Once it changes from blue flashing to green, we know that it's reached might kill temp and we will remove that um, stick. Oh, what we want to do before I forget is create some air movement. So we want to put a nice big space up here for that air to get through. Okay, on to the double deep.
Okay, so the double deep is going to be very, very, very similar. The only difference is we have to remove that upper box before we can get to the lower box because the sensor is still going to go in the middle of the lower deep. This is kind of what that looks like. And this could probably even come back just a wee bit. When the thermal indicator starts blinking green instead of blue, we have reached mic kill temp. So we remove the closure stick in the front, which I have already done, and we are set. We let it go. So this one just turned green, and I am just going to... Have it taped pretty good. Like that. Ta da! As you can see, there is definitely a little bit of wax mounted. That is to be expected. Um, it's a nice idea to go in if you can or if you remember prior to. Um, doing the thermal treatment and remove any uh, burr comb hanging on the bottom. And you absolutely do not want 
foundationless frames in your bottom deep if you're going to do a thermal heat treatment.